Good afternoon, Lorraine. Yeah. My name is Janet Garrett. I'm running for U.S. House of Representatives in Ohio's 4th Congressional District. I am a retired teacher and a proud union member. I never thought about running for office before I met my opponent, Jim Jordan. I found him to be an inspiring character. He inspired me to run against him to get him out of there. You see, old Jim is a water boy for the Koch brothers and their billionaire donor network. Let me tell you a few of his greatest hits. He voted against equal pay for women. Is that what we the people want? No! He voted against the auto rescue, which saved thousands of jobs in his own district. Is that what the people want? No! He doesn't want you to have any minimum wage. Is that what we the people want? No! He's trying to privatize Social Security and turn Medicare into a voucher. Is that what we the people want? No! He wants to give more tax breaks to millionaires and billionaires. Is that what we the people want? No! He's been in office since 2007. He has no legislative successes, no initiatives in the district. All he's done is create gridlock and vote no on everything that would help we the people. He is Mr. No, and Mr. No has to go. Say it with me. Mr. No has to go. I have worked with people from all walks of life for 35 years. I understand their struggles. I know that they're not looking for handouts. They're looking for a level playing field, an opportunity to lift up their lives. Amen. My issues are to promote our workers, to promote our women, and to make a level playing field for our minorities. We have to protect our seniors and our environment. We have to prepare our children for their future and our veterans for life after their service. But we can't do that until we get all this big money out of our politics and get the rich to pay their fair share. I know that we are all disheartened by the level of vitriol in our national discourse right now, but there is hope on the horizon. We are just one election away from a democratic sweep and a brighter future for the entire nation. I am standing here today because there comes a time when you just have to stand up for what you believe in. And I believe in the best of American values, just like you do. Let's make this happen. Thank you very much.